Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host, LTGym007, and today we're looking at the Axe Graves plugin. So, this is a really awesome plugin which allows you to save your items when you die, and then you can come back and grab them from the grave that has spawned. So, you can see some examples here. I have multiple, just these two, and you can see there is in fact a countdown timer where I have to get back to the grave, grab all my items, and then grab my XP as well. And then it will disappear once I've done that. You can customize what happens after this timer, whether the items disappear or they fall on the ground, and then who can interact with this grave. It's highly customizable and overall a really fantastic plugin. So let's go ahead and demonstrate it before jumping into the config file and looking at what we can change in there. So if I go into game mode zero, jump off this rather tall tower and you can see as we get closer, it spawns in, it shows my head at the bottom, which is a little darker than usual for some reason, but it shows my name at the top. Uh, it's got two minutes, 42 seconds, how many items and how much XP will be collected. And then what you can do is forward slash axe grave list and that's going to list all of them and how long is left plus their location and then you can also do axe grave reload if you've made any changes in the config file which is where we're going now so here we are in the SMP control panel you can see there is a library folder and two YML files if you go into the config file this is where we can make lots of changes so the despawn time you can change that to infinite by setting it to minus one or set it to X amount of seconds. And then what happens when this timer runs out? Should the items drop? Yes or no, or just be deleted. And then the item drop velocity? Yes or no, or just stay in the single block where they were. Should we have enable instant pickup to make it a lot easier to grab stuff? Override keep inventory? Yes or no. And then we have a little bit about the head height and hologram height. You can change that if you're not happy where it is or if the head is in the ground too much. You can disable this in certain worlds such as creative for example. And then do you want the head to constantly rotate where you're facing? And then should you only be allowed to interact with your own chess or can you steal from others? And then what percentage of your XP do you get back? Should it be 100% by putting one here or 0.5 would be 50%? And then the order of the items, so it will show your armor first and then any hand items and then offhand. And then here's the grave limit. You saw I had two in the example, so you could set that to one, five or minus one for infinite. And then we have the minimax spawn height limits for the grave in particular the world and then down here we have the blacklisted death causes so this is quite interesting if we go to this link over here you can choose from various deaths that won't cause a grave to occur and you'll actually keep your items for example let's grab this one we can paste it in there and then reload the server and see how that has changed things. I'm also gonna change this to minus one. And you can see in front of me, the grave that we tested earlier while I was in the config file has expired and all the stuff has been thrown on the ground. We can do ax grave reload. And then if I were to do the full slash kill command, hopefully it does not work and we keep our stuff there is no grave that was created that way and then finally if I were to jump off here it should create one and here it is you can see because it's infinite it is just counting up rather than counting down it's not going to despawn and we can go ahead and grab our items and XP so here we are in the spigot page you can see it's updated from 1.18 to 1.20 there is a wiki and discord if you need further help but overall it's a really simple and awesome plugin i'd highly recommend it if you want something similar on your server but if you need a server to host it on check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around that's it for me subscribe like comment and i'll see you next time